My own giving to God. Let me give my own example. My own giving to God was this. When I discovered the power in solitude, I, 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 even though I wanted to do solitude just once in my lifetime, because I read in books that other men of God did solitude one time, and God came to them and gave them the answer and revealed himself to them. So I wanted God to reveal himself to me one time. I just did it one time. And I did it that one time. I had an encounter with Jesus, and he gave me all my answers, and I know that it's, it's, no, it's no more God of Abraham, God of Isaac, or God of Jacob. He's now my God. I know him now. I've met him. But then I made a vow that day. I said, God, I'm going to do, I'm going to sacrifice because to be in solitude for weeks and days and weeks and just lock yourself alone away from men, from human beings, not to talk to anybody, just being in a room by yourself, it's not easy. Even that first time was not easy, but I told God I would do this for as long as I can. And I was just, I, sometimes I would not have any, I don't, most of the time I didn't have any request. I didn't have any prayer need. I didn't have anything to pray about. I just would come and lock myself in, in four weeks that we have in a month. We have four weeks in a month. I would take one week away off. I go I just alone from family, from church, from ministry. Just sacrifice my life. I would just, not eating, maybe just drinking, just drinking. And I, I would just go there 18 hours, 14 hours a day. Least, I would listen, I would study, I would read. Just being in the presence of God, studying, reading, you know, I would rest. I would, I would just be sacrificing, pouring out my life. Just as, just nobody else, just to you alone. The sacrifice of, of, of myself, my life, that is my own giving. I did it for the next 15 years without, having, without missing one month, without missing a single month. For the next 15 years straight, I was doing this. Every single month, one whole week, in the presence of God, just pouring out myself. That was my own sacrifice. After I did it for eight years, my life and destiny so much changed that I could see Jesus every day. I could enter into the Spirit. I could go navigate in the Spirit. I could talk to God. God became my friend. Not just my God. He became my friend. He became my master. Then I did it for another seven years. Another eight years. Or four, seven years. So, it is sacrifice. It's every time I go, it's like I'm dying. I was going to die. In fact, I felt there is nothing I've done in my life as hard as being as practicing solitude. Nothing as hard. Everything else is easy. That was what was difficult. I was each time I go was like dying. I was sacrificing my life for real. I was dying for real. I mean the way I was doing it before I was not wise in the beginning. I was not I would not even take I, I never used to even take a cassette or you know messages. I never even used to take anything, just take one Bible. And I never used to take books. It was later on I discovered that, no, you cannot actually use that time to discover yourself, to develop yourself. I started taking books, cassettes. I started studying, you know, developing myself. I started taking all that drink. Before, I was only drinking water. I mean, I was, I, sometimes I would lose my, I would lose consciousness. I mean, I would be unconscious. I would just wake up, I see myself on the floor. I say, oh, how did I get here? You know, I would, I've lost consciousness so many times I couldn't even re remember. I just just disappear, just just lose consciousness. But thank God, thank God that uh, you know it's it's amazing, it's amazing. Thank God, God changed everything, you know. Because by the time I was through, that, that's why you are listening to me here. It's like when Pastor Sunday speaks, people say he speaks like no human being has spoken. People say we have never seen anybody speak like you speak. People have witnessed. People, all of you are witnesses. All of people are giving testimony of what a different grace, what a different anointing, what a different knowledge, wisdom. Where is this wisdom coming from? Where people are saying, I mean, this is not just you believers who are saying this. The same thing has been said when I went to the UN to speak. People say we never had anybody speak like this. And I went to the United Nations, United States Senate or you know, Congress, where the Japanese uh, you know, Israel Parliament. People have said we never heard anybody speak like this. You, you because of the when you because everyone has responded. 